Today I'm opening the July Art Snacks box. I know I'm a bit late, but I was away for a while. And I'm actually excited because now I have quite a few boxes to open at once. Um, so it comes with a Laffy Taffy. And, oh, we had some of those before. Um, There's a Groom Baker, a Groom Backer four sheets of uh, watercolor paper. It's a uh, paper sampler. I can't remember. I have to check what we had before. It was not watercolor, but it was something else, I'm pretty sure. But it's a cool format. I think it's made uh, probably especially for art snacks. I'm not quite sure, but it, by the look of it, it seems like it. What do we have here? Ooh, it's a Marabou Aqua Ink. It's watercolor ink, and it's uh, looks like it's some kind of blue. Oh, here, haha! -ha. Uh, ultramarine. No, wait. Dark ultramarine. That's what it is. Ooh, nice. Should I open it? I'm not gonna make a mess here. Mm, that looks very nice. We have the menu and we have the sticker here. Oh, it's like a watermelon sticker today. And then. Here's a Copic drawing pen. Oh yes, I've been wanting to try one of those for a long time. Oh yeah, I'm so glad I didn't buy one. Thank you, Art Snacks. So cool. So it's, I don't think these are refillable, unfortunately, unless I figure out a way to do it. But it's like a fountain pen with Copic ink. And it's Copic proof, of, of course. Oh, I'm so excited. We have a brush, Museum Emerald by Weber, and it's a flat one. What color? Uh, oh, it's a bright one. It's a four, number four. Okay. And a Moloto One for All acrylic twin. So acrylic marker with a fine tip and a bigger tip. Nice yellow. Uh, I don't know if there's a, na a name for this yellow. Mm. I can't find it. Oh, I like that there's a, a level. It's, it's clear right here so we can see how much ink there's in there. And it's refillable, it looks like said that I don't know the name of the color. Oh wait. Poison green. Ooh. Nice. Poison green and dark ultramarine. I'm so happy. Can you tell? <laughs> anyway. So stick around. I will be using all these supplies to make a portrait of the July winner. And I already have her picture. And I'm excited to finally uh, make her portrait. Of course, I had to start with testing the Copic drawing pen. I found that it did very well as a writing pen, but I still had to figure out how it would do with uh, the drawing part. Especially since I was supposed to use it on watercolor paper, which isn't very smooth. I later on found out that it takes some getting used to when you want to use it for drawing something. It's not as smooth as a regular felt tip fine liner, but it's a really, really nice pen. I really enjoyed it. And it's also Copic proof, but not waterproof. The Moloto marker, what can I say? It's an acrylic marker. It works just fine. 
And for the Marabou Aqua Ink, it's beautiful, it's very lovely, and I really enjoyed using it. Artsnack has introduced us to quite a few Marabou uh, products, and so far I must say that I've enjoyed most of them. Okay, so first of all, I would like to thank all of you for being so patient this summer and waiting for the art snack videos and the scroll box videos. And I would like especially to thank Faith, who's been waiting to see her portrait for a very long time. So finally, here it is. It's the video for it. But first, I'm going to have to make you wait just a little bit longer because this box came with some paper, I just had to try it. So for it to be a full Art Snacks challenge, I wanted to try all the supplies with the paper together. However, being so narrow, I couldn't possibly make a portrait. I mean, I could, but I don't think it would have been fair for Faith. So I decided to do something really quick, which allowed me to try the supplies even more. And I found out that I definitely like the watercolor ink way more than the acrylic marker, which I usually never use. Looking at these doodles, you must be wondering, oh, how is she gonna make a portrait with those colors? Well, while playing with the Copic pen, uh, I realized that when you put water on it, it's definitely not waterproof, but it kind of turns into some kind of reddish brownish color. You might be able to see it also when you just use it. It's not like a, a jet black and it's not very, very dark. But I figured it could make a nice darker skin tone color. So that's why I decided to use it for the, the shadows on the face. Now let me tell you about the brush. It's a pretty good brush and it does its job well. And the barrel has a nice comfortable grip. However, the grip is not lined up with the bristles. If it had been the case, I would have given the special grip a thumbs up. However, because it was crooked, it didn't feel very comfortable using it. And one last thing before I go, if you use an acrylic marker on paper and you just use it to color a somewhat large area, you're going to find that because it's moist, very moist actually, it's going to make the paper peel. So the end result might not be super great. But since I had to use that poison green color somewhere, I use it for the background. And um, yeah, it, it didn't work very well with the paper. It could have been the paper I used, I don't know. Anyway, Faith, I hope you like this portrait of you. Thank you again for all your patience. And thanks everyone for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you.